Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we have this Hyundai i30 2009 and the problem is on ESP system. Sometimes ESP off light comes on because of an issue. So today we're gonna go ahead to hook up the scan tool, read the fault code and to see what we can do to fix the car. And for performing this diagnostic, we're gonna use this scan tool today, which is MooCar. 892BT. If you are interested to learn more about this scan tool, you can find the link in the video description or the first comment down below. And before starting the video, if you guys haven't subscribed the channel yet, please don't forget to subscribe to get the notification when we upload new videos. All right, we're going to go for selecting the car first. So on this car, I need to go for selecting the car manually. It's Hyundai. right here this scan tool comes with a free lifetime update which is of course not common at all on other scan tools many companies they charge you after one or two years after buying the scan tool you have to pay annually for getting the updates but for this scan tool you don't need to pay at all you will get the lifetime free update after buying the scanner so 16 pins i30 2009 this car is diesel select systems and i'm gonna go for abs and esp they are integrated of course let's read the fault codes so as you see we have the steering angle sensor signal so this fault code is from the steering angle sensor this happened before as well after erasing the fault code it keeps coming back so we can go back let's erase the fault code first if you check the codes it's not here right now sometimes the fault is active so when you erase it it keeps coming back it could be from a steering angle sensor itself but sometimes the problem is not from a broken sensor let's go back to the live data right here so i'm gonna select all and if we scroll down to find the live data for a steering angle sensor so as you see the value that we are getting from a steering angle sensor is more than 18 degrees but right now front wheels are straight steering wheel is at center position as well so this value that we are getting here should be very close to zero if the data from the sensor is within plus minus five degrees it's still acceptable by esp but when the value is higher than that esp is going to set a fault code for a steering angle sensor so on this car right now as you see the value is way higher than that because when you are driving most of the time you are driving straight and if esp keeps getting a value more than plus minus five degrees for a certain period of time is going to set a fault for a bad signal from a steering angle sensor which is this one so right now we need to go for calibrating this value to bring it back to the zero or at least to bring it back to the plus minus five degrees specification so for performing this we need to go for the special function so back in here in this page you see all the special functions for this card that we have selected but you need to remember that this car is equipped with electric power steering as well on some cars with eps the steering angle sensor calibration should be performed from eps system not esp or braking system so basically on this car if you go on the braking system there is no item for a steering angle sensor calibration but right here we do if you click on it you see that this function is used for initiating ASP calibration. Perform this function when you replace EPS ECU or do work related to the EPS. Having the issue from this is going to affect the ESP system as well. So we're going to go for OK. Again, same instruction. Ignition should be on. Engine stop. Turn the steering wheel to straight ahead position. It is at the straight position and press OK. initializing complete after ignition key off wait for 15 seconds before the next key ignition on and press ok button so i turn the ignition switch off we should wait for 15 seconds so right now we're going to turn the ignition switch on 
and we need to make sure that it's within the five degrees let's okay And if we go back to the system select, let's check the fault code. Of course, there's nothing. We erased it. Uh, data stream. Okay. And steering angle value is zero. So this one used to be 18 degrees. Right now it's back to zero it means the calibration is performed properly if you do the calibration and you get back in here and you see the value is over plus minus five degrees it means that the calibration is not performed properly and you have to do it all over again all right guys thank you very much for watching i hope this video was helpful for you if you are interested to learn more about this scan tool you can find the link in the video description or the first comment down below and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get the notification when we upload new videos.